Hello, good day, and how's you diddling, diddling, diddling? Well, you, well, you, welcome to the Artie Farty Show. I'm your curator, Matt Finish, and tonight's theme... A kid of six can do it. Joining me in the review chairs are Aragon Lionheart and Arthur Darley. Tonight, we examine the Tat Gallery's I Can Turn a Corner Prize. In the studio, we have Loopy Lou Lucas's Fruity Fruit, and Giuseppe Eckhart demonstrates his unique painting style. Plus, Jake the Fake and Dino Soros, the dopey dipsticks, answer their critics via a live video link. And we ask if you, Joe and Josephine Public, can recognize genius in primates. Oh dear. And prepare to be amazed as we go behind the scenery with Simone Cowbell in Pop Artist. Yeah. Before we see Giuseppe doing his thing, let's brush up on him. Here's a rare interview from the Not My South Bank show. Big up. I'm Dirk Braggard, and this is Not My South Bank show. Not my guest tonight is Giuseppe Eckhart. Giuseppe, critics oft remark that your technique is sexist. How would you counter them? I counter with other fingers. No, I mean, how would you answer these assertions? With two fingers. How would you describe your work, then? It's a finger licking good. This is ludicrous. I wash my hands of all this. Give old Dirk the thumbs up for that one. Here's Giuseppe, live in the studio, doing what he does best. Aragon? Considering when all you have is the bare bones to create a full-bodied work, I think he made a meaty statement. Mm, time to move on. The Tat Gallery's I Can Turn a Corner Prize... I think you mean Tate. The Tat Gallery's I Can Turn a Corner Prize is awarded later this month. Let's take a look at this year's nominees. First up, Tracy Makes Damien... My name is... Emin... Shark fin soup and gets in a stew. Arthur? It's not I can Tina Turner, it's I can turn a corner. Time for pop artist with Simone Cowbell. Probably the worst piece of music I have ever heard in my life. Off you go. It's like a girl's night out at a karaoke bar, wasn't it? Say yeah! Let's boldly go in search of genius. Can you, Joe and Josephine Public, recognise it? Let's go to our live broadcast as we pit the smokers outside the Vincent Van Gogh against Aragon and Arthur as we ask... A kid of six could do it. Uh, we seem to have a problem with the voices. We'll try again later when we've sorted out the gremlins. Before we go in line with the gruesome twosome, here's one they made earlier. This is the Dopey Dipsticks I Can Turn a Corner Prize entry. <laughs> Minds think alike. Manifold hands make light work. Shows great courage and resourcefulness to recreate a classic. An irresistible revolutionary reassembly that recaptures postmodernism and in doing so ultimately reclaims the postnatal. A truly stunning comment on global warming. Tat winners for sure. <laughs> Let's chat live with the dopey dipsticks. 
Mon dipsticks, your work. A kid of six could do it. This is stolen from a kid's cardboard cutout, is it not? Defacing existing things is child's play. Like scratching your moniker on a bus window. Un momento. We've managed to get the sound back at the Vincent van Gogh. Oh dear. Let's hear from the smokers. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Hello. And there still seems to be a problem with the voices. Let's go back online with the dipsticks. Matty, Matty, we have something new to show you. We made it from the charred remains of our masterpiece. Hell. Very nice. Can't make it out from here. Any clues? No mystery, Matty. It's a bat. It's a bat. Apple Farfa. Oh yes, I see it now. Reminds me of your, uh, African period? Silly. Artists don't have periods. Except our Tracy. She's an artist. Take that back, darling. They're behaving like six-year-olds. A kid of six could do it. Picasso? What's a car got to do with it? Picasso was an artist. Oh, like us then. Children, please, you are behaving like six-year-olds. On next week's show... Damien, my name is Emin, has a whale of a time spinning a tall towel. Jacques, blankety blankski, le brat, up to his neck in work. And the dipsticks believe they can walk on water. Be seeing you, be seeing you, be seeing you.